What if F1 cars accelerated as fast as they braked? Now, before we get started, I just want to give a big shout out to V12 Hybrid Rally on YouTube for giving me this idea. I loved it the moment I heard it and just had to make it happen. I also had great fun making this mod, so I'm going to break with tradition and take you through the stages of creating this mod because it really shows the insane power that modern F1 brakes have got. So first up, I had to measure how long it took to go from 300 kilometers an hour down to zero without any mods. It turns out it takes around about three seconds on F1 2020, but it takes something like nine or 10 seconds to accelerate from zero to 300 kilometers an hour. So now we had our target. My first port of call was to double the power to see how close that could get us. Doubling the power to around 2000 brake horsepower got us to around seven seconds, not 300, but I felt like it was the traction that was really holding us back. Of course, F1 cars are rear wheel drive only. Uh, I measured the 0 to 100 speed, of course, where that's mainly traction limited, to around about three seconds, which is pretty much the time we need to go all the way to 300. So clearly, traction was a big issue for us. So I decided to double the rear tire grip, which I hope would pretty much get us there. This did reduce our 0 to 100 time to around one and a half seconds, but we're still taking four and a half seconds to get to 300 km an hour, still well short of our target of three seconds. So this is where I went a little crazy and decided to double everything again, taking us to four times power or 4,000 brake horsepower and four times rear tire grip. This is when things started getting really interesting because I actually started getting wheelies off the line in an F1 car. We were now going from 0 to 100 km an hour in just half a second. <laughs> this is what I mean. Completely crazy. Now, I don't know how realistic the physics in F1 2020 are, but F1 cars are long. And even at 100 km an hour, the front wing produces a hell of a lot of downforce. So that just shows you the insane forces that we've got to play here. We were now down to around two and a half seconds, 0 to 300 km a time. So we've actually somehow managed to make our acceleration better than the brakes of our F1 car. It felt to me that it was mainly the traction that was too OP. So I turned the rear tire grip down to around about three times its normal, which got us to our target of accelerating just as fast as we can brake. We're talking here three seconds, naught to 300 kilometers an hour. Let me know if you guys enjoy this little journey through the creation of this mod, and I can include it in future videos. But for now, let's get into the action with my first lap driving the absolute beast that we've just created. This video is sponsored by GT Manager, who actually helped develop the F1 racing mobile game. GT Manager is a newly released game and they're hoping to join the likes of IGP Manager, Motorsport Manager and F1 Manager in leading the Motorsport Manager genre forward. As of all sponsor integrations, I'll never show you a game that I haven't played myself and this one feels really well polished despite only being released just a few short weeks ago. They've got officially licensed names from major GT brands including Audi, Porsche, Chevrolet and Celine. But before you jump into a race, you need to build and upgrade your HQ, where there's five buildings and 12 departments, which you unlock as you progress through the game. Here you'll choose your parts and drivers, upgrade them to the maximum allowed in your category, then get racing. There's several different game modes to choose from, including sprint, endurance, and daily races. Once you're out on track, you need to manage your driver's push level and pit strategy, so you don't overheat your engine or kill your tires. I thoroughly enjoyed playing GT Manager, and now you can too. It's not only free to download on your mobile, but if you use the code GTM underscore Gillen, you can unlock this season's race pass for free. So give it a go using the link in the description and let me know if you can beat my best of P2 in the race. Right, here we go. This is my first lap driving a car that can accelerate, an F1 car that can accelerate as fast as it can brake uh, on a wheel. Now let's try this. Where, how, where can we? Oh my God, there's so, oh my God, there's so much understeer when you get on the power. It's exactly what I expected. I've done I've done insane amounts. I've done infinite rear tire grip videos before on previous games. And it just it's because it doesn't allow the car to rotate. The, the car's constantly relying on a level of rotation in every corner. Oh my God. Oh God. Don't get the power that early. That just pushed me straight off. Um, and of course, also when you accelerate, you're lifting, especially when you're accelerating this hard, you're lifting a lot of weight off the front. So when you're on the power, there's just, there's no front grip. Um, but even when you're off the power, it's just because you can't rotate the car. Oh my god, okay. That was that felt okay. Just I mean, immediately up to oh god, 300 k coming to there, that's not normal. Can we do it? Yeah, I mean, can we do it to the next one? Oh god, almost deep. It's weird, it's it's like it's, you have to square off every corner, it seems. There isn't any flow because you, you can't use any throttle. If you use any throttle, you, you need to full throttle and getting out of the corner. So you need to sort of square off the corners, going deep, up a couple of gears in the middle of Ascari smashing over the curb. Almost clean, not far off being clean. And just, of course, sitting in the rev limiter. This, I think, the, the the AI race we've got coming up next. I suspect it's going to be a bit dull racing because of that. But let's... Uh, oh, God. No. I thought I was ready to accelerate the corner. And then I was not. 
Uh, there we go. About six seconds up on my previous best. Um, and that was not even a great lap, was it? So, um, I don't know what's... I'm not pressing any pedals. Look in the bottom right. That's my pedal usage. There is none. Look, there's throttle. There's brake. Why is it... Why are we accelerating? Again. Not press... What is that? Why is it doing that? Oh, God. Why is it doing that? We've just discovered something really interesting in this game. I feel like it's because... Of the fuel. So what in order to do this model, basically I've I've times the fuel by three. Four, sorry. So I wonder if, if if it uses a bit of fuel to keep the engine running or something, and because I've times the fuel by four, it, it's it's far too much fuel and it's just ended up actually accelerating when it should just be just sort of keeping the engine ticking over. I'm not too sure, but it's not doing it now. It's only when you're at certain speeds. Look. Weird. Anyway, ignoring that, let's get uh, let's get into that. That's also why I can't break so much. Let's get into the uh, AI race. So let's see how we get on. Let's more importantly see how the AI get on um, in a in a side by side race in cars that can accelerate as fast as they can break. Here we go then. Let's do our first race in a car that can an F1 car that can accelerate as fast as it can break. How's the start going to be? I assume it's just going to be <laughs> everyone's doing a few little wheelies. I can't shift up quick enough. AI, of course, are perfect at that kind of thing. I'm going to break really early just because. I don't really know. Oh god! Oh god! Bit of contact there. We got through. Oh god! Don't accelerate that much. You can't be gentle with the throttle. With a little tap. You can see even the AI doing it. Oh god! I pushed him off. Loads of people went off there, including Max Verstappen. Keep getting into the rev limiter. Stop doing that. I'm going to go up to rich, but it makes no difference. Anything standard. Um, yes, even Verstappen was off there. So oh god, get it stopped. We've got it stopped just about. Can we get a better exit than the maybe? No, I can't. Oh god, there's a Ferrari on the outside there. Oh no. Okay, let's have an accidental dive bomb. Had a very rude overtake on the Haas. Almost off the track. Well, actually, was off the track. Oh, I'm sorry, Kimmy. Don't really have many brakes. Trying to shift up as fast as I can into the rev limiter again. Only up to P13, but everyone's got the exact same gearbox uh, in this game. So we're going to really struggle to get past anyone, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. I probably could have got in there without, by flying off the track, but I decided against it. I don't know why I'm in the slipstream. We're in the rev limiter and we've got plenty of power. It makes no difference whatsoever. I'm going to try and die bomb here. I don't know where I should break. Okay, that was nice. That was nice. Oh god, where do I get the power? The AI, of course, are constantly adjusting. I don't know, actually, you know... Actually, maybe I do. I think the AI run at a... Th I, don't know, I don't know. I think the physics run at a 1,000 hertz. I assume the AI would also run at the same the same uh, rate. So, I, I, if they do, I imagine that that means uh, that they... Uh, oh god, are adjusting to everything a 1,000 times a second. <laughs> so, the throttle, for example... Um, it may be less than this, but let's say it is a thousand times a second. The throttle, for example, they're adjusting to that a thousand times a second, making sure they're getting the right amount to not push them wide, to not get any wheel spin, which is why they're not really going off too much. Going to die bomb Latif here because YOLO. Oh, God, no. Regrets. Regrets. Okay. We've got lots of grip on the gravel, so maybe we can just we can just accelerate off it as if it's not gravel. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're going to go backwards. I think we might end up finishing this race last, you know. We've got it set on 105 AI, which is what I tend to play on that's about where my skill level is around 105 106 or so and uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a few more liberties with track limits just so we can maybe get through the pack a little bit but I don't think we can there's just no chance in the straights there's no point in the slipstream makes it incredibly difficult we actually may run out of fuel and that's I think probably mainly because we're just in the no, I'm gonna get in the gravel a little bit but I think yeah we're gonna run out of fuel I think purely because we, we, we got much higher revs and we need does nothing with the mod I've done, so should have a little lifting coast because the AI probably Oh god, sorry Max, sorry Max, but actually it was fine. Oh god! <laughs> you saw what I was trying to do. I tried to wait on the throttle. Oh, we're so free here for some reason. I tried to wait on the throttle and then nail it to see if I could gain an advantage on them, but it just didn't work. <laughs> I just accelerated into the back of it. Oh god, throttle too early. You get such horrific understeer when you get on the throttle. Right, so already lap three. Oh, God, stop. Whoa, bit of wheel spin, a bit of contact. I'm going to use the DRS because you're right. I need to do some serious lifting and coasting. So, what if I go partial throttle? That should do it. If I was to... Hang on, let's try and get a better exit first. Oh, God, by using a bit of track limits. If I was just to go, like, sort of half throttle. Does that help? 
And lifting coast at the end of every straight. Sorry, Max. Oh, my God. Even that line was nowhere near. You saw how far the inside I was. I thought I could go full throttle from there. But, right, we're going to open DRS to help us use less throttle to try and save a bit of fuel. We're going to do a bit of a lifting coast. We're not saving enough. But this means all the AI are also going to run out. So, if we can... I think it does anyway. So, if we can get to the... Oh, God. If we can get to the end with, with fuel... We may, may get lucky. We may end up winning this race if everyone else runs out. But we just can't save enough. Oh, God. Big lift and coast there. Running in very hot. Oh, God. Very hot again. I just can't. Oh, Blando. That was aggressive. I like it. I like it. Okay. You need lift and coast from here. There's that weird, weird kind of glitch. Oh, Albon, that was a nice move. We're still going backwards, chat. Uh, comments, co comments. Tell me in the comments right now that your comments. Somebody remind me right now so that whenever I look at the comments, I just see like a sea of like weird comments or something because I need to get out of the habit of calling everybody chat. Right, she's actually some partial throttle. I'm trying to be a bit sensible. We have actually saved, saved enough fuel. And at what point are the AI going to run out? Because we are now at the point. We could be going backwards. But I don't know if the AI actually simulate fuel, but we're about to find out. Because if they do... Oh, that's deep. That's... That's hard. Oh, God. I'm going to let everyone back through. There we go. Or whether they lift. Perhaps they lift the throttle. When are they going to run out of fuel, though? I don't know. Because half throttle is clearly the way. Oh, I've done it again. It's so hard to judge my breaking point. Oh, someone was off there. That's George Russell. Right, are they going to run out of fuel or have AI got infinite fuel? We're about to find out another little inner working of this game. Or are they just smarter than me? Have they just been like, you know, going half throttle most of this race? Because they don't need it. Oh, Giovinazzi. There's uh, Latifi's slow. Giovinazzi looks snow. Slow. <laughs> snow. I think they have run out of fuel, you know. Oh, YOLO. They have run out of fuel, look. They have run out of fuel. They do definitely simulate fuel. But we're not going to get to these guys ahead, even using full throttle now. They're just too far away. They've got enough power, even without even without really any fuel. In this game, of course, they don't actually make them run out of fuel. They just make what I call blubbing, where they go blub, 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 blub. But obviously that, at the moment, with four times power, is enough for them to be still really quick. We actually got up to 11th, but not any further, even despite those fueling issues. And that's not a surprise. As I said, the AI, you know, I always, I always say they are traction control. As I said, I don't know what, what resolution they run at, but um, or, or refresh rate they run at, but... Um, I know the handling, I believe, works at 1,000 hertz. So if the AI also work at 1,000 hertz, they're adjusting to everything 1,000 times a second. That's why these sort of mods, I don't tend to do series on them, because realistically, they're just not very fun. You just can't adapt uh, well enough like the AI can. It's just it's just not possible. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you want to try this mod for yourself, join Gill and Gang Premium down below. That'll be a special role on Discord where you can download this mod, which will probably be there right now. I tend to try and get them up. Uh, within 24 hours of the video going live. But anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.